and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to give you some tips on purchasing an e-bike online because it can be overwhelming especially if you're a first-time buyer so let's go over some of the tips that I would recommend First off, the first thing you want to do is set yourself up a budget as to how much money you're going to spend on the bike. And we're talking maximum amount. So for the sake of this video, let's just say $2,000. So that's your limit, your maximum you're going to spend. Okay, so once you have A price that you're willing to pay for the bike maximum price the next thing I would do is decide which style of bike you want so when I say style I mean like do you want a mountain bike do you want a do you want a cruiser style uh, do you want a folding bike, maybe a cargo bike, uh, or a moped scrambler style? Um, personally, that's the style I like best, and that would be something like the Lyric Graffiti that I'm riding right now, or the Aerial Rider Grizzly, or that would also be something like a Super 73, a Ride One Up Rev One, um, any of those styles of bikes that's the style that I like the best but so once you have chosen what style of bike and your price is already set then I would do some research I would look up I would scour around and look for every bike that fits my budget and the style that I like and of course you're not going to go over your budget that's the maximum you're willing to spend so I'd look for everything that's in that range and then I would start to narrow it down and and what I would do is start looking for other things that are going to interest you on the bike like whether you're looking for power uh, the other thing I failed to mention is you might want fat tire or not fat tire I like personally the fat tire but that's another thing you'd be uh, wanting to look for if that's what you're looking for but then once you get that then I like I said I'd narrow it down and then start looking at some of the other features like power as I say do you want a certain voltage like my first bike, the Rad Rover, was a, was a 48 volt and the next two bikes were both 52. So me personally, I don't usually want to go back, so I probably want 52, but I, I suppose it depends on the bike whether I would go to a 48. Like the Rev 1 by Ride One Up, that one, you know, I kind of like that bike, so I'd probably be okay with that one because it's, it's 48, but I just like that bike quite a bit so other things you might be looking for too would be battery size uh, depending on how much you're going to ride the bike are you going to go on long distance rides or shorter distance rides that's going to affect battery size as to how much you want and the motor and how much power the controller could be uh, something that would come into play as well but it depends on what kind of a budget you set as to how much of those you're going to get so when you do your search for style and price range then you look at all those uh, and see which one kind of fits for what you're looking for 
I think for me personally, it was easier after the first bike. I knew more what I was looking for when I uh, bought the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly. I was, you know, I had already had the Rad Rover and I knew what its capabilities were and I knew what where I wanted to improve. And for me personally, I wanted more power. Uh, I wanted to be able to climb hills um, without any trouble and that's where I got the Aerial Rider Grizzly uh, you know and clung to that one when I when I uh, was doing my research I kept coming back to that one for the fact that it had two motors that was really really appealing to me because the videos I watched on it showed you how well it climbed hills and so that was a, a big attraction for me but you may li live in an area that you don't really have hills so you don't really have to worry about that so then you look at other things like um, weight okay you might be a heavier rider well you need a bike that can uh, carry your weight I'm personally I'm 180 pounds so most bikes are pretty good for my weight but if you're, let's say you're 250 or 275, well, you'd want to make sure you get a bike that can handle that kind of weight. Or you may be, maybe you weigh 200 pounds, but you're planning on carrying a lot of cargo with you. So you want to make sure that you get a bike that can handle that much weight, uh, depending on how much you want to uh, pull around with you. And there's a lot of other factors that'll come into play. Uh, it may come down to, you may be down to two or three bikes and you may just like the looks of one uh, over the other. Another one would be seat height. That can be important too because some bikes such as the, uh, this one here, the moped scrambler style, the graffiti, it's not an adjustable seat. So, it's not going to fit everybody, so you might want to look at that, depending on your height. For me, this bike is absolutely perfect height. Uh, myself, I'm five foot nine, and this bike has about a 31 inch seat height, so it's perfect for me. My feet touch the ground, which I really like, because I feel like I have more control with the bike, um, uh, having my feet being able to touch flat on the ground. Shipping can be a factor. You might have to pay for shipping and that may throw the price beyond what you want to spend. Or you may, that $300 or $200 may be just um, having you give up something else in order for the shipping, you know, and maybe you don't want that. Uh, so you want to look for some of the uh, things that the bike might offer that you're looking for. I don't know exactly what it would be, but you'd know. I'm pretty sure you'd have an idea right before you go into it. You want to know what you want. Um, but those are the basics. It would be the style of bike, the price, uh, can it handle your weight, the seat height, Looks, I mean, looks are going to be important because you're going to be riding it. You want something that's appealing to you and comfortable to ride. And buying online is, is tricky because we don't get to do a test ride or anything. So if you've got a, if you've got some ideas, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and let us know what uh, you can add to this. Or maybe you have a completely different, uh, some different, uh, um, steps that you would do in and uh, purchasing a bike but it is an interesting topic especially for those who've never purchased a bike before so that's going to do it for this bike a little bit of uh, tips on purchasing a bike online if you enjoyed this uh, video hit the uh, like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And I do have a link in the descriptions for this particular bike if you want a Lyric Graffiti 
Uh, I have a discount code, Oregon eBiker Mark, all one word. That'll save you $150 on the purchase of a bike. That's Oregon eBiker Mark, all one word. Once again, thank you for coming along on this video. And until next time, take care.